Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Angela and today is Valentine's Day or this weekend is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I'm wearing my red shirt. It says do everything with love. Um, it's a great day. It's a great day to tell people how important they are to you. I got my heart glasses on so everything looks very rosy and colorful. Well, it is day 134. 134 days of drawing together. So you know the, what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you to go get your paper, your pencils, your colored pencils, your crayons, your markers, whatever you got at home and let's draw a picture. Okay? It's going to be a Valentine's Day theme. Um, last week we did one a simple dog. This week we're going to do something. We're going to do a little lamb, but sometimes you can call a little lamb a you. So we're going to say would you be my Valentine okay so get ready only gonna need a couple colors for this one we're gonna keep it really simple so get ready if you haven't made a Valentine for that someone special for mom dad your brother your sister your friend whoever you can do it today and it'll be all ready for you to give away for Valentine's Day all right we're gonna do ours a lot bigger last time I did a little dog way down here in the balloon up here we're still gonna have our little you or our little um, lamb holding a um, Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Holding a balloon, but we're going to make him a lot bigger this time. Now, I can't take credit for this design. This is my daughter. She came up with this. She thought that this was a cute little lamb, and I did too. So I said, oh, can I use it? And she said, sure. So here we go. Taylor, we're using your design today. All right, let's make our face up here, way up on the paper. And I'm going to make the line just like this. Kind of like an egg, but we're missing the top of it. A sideways egg, but missing the top of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the fluffy hair. Um, a lamb has very curly hair. So I'm going to put the hair in next. And I'm going to make it very bumpy, almost like I was drawing a cloud. It could be any kind of way you want. Just make sure it's nice and fluffy and big. All right. Now we got the fluff on his hair. Now let's give him some ears. Now his ears are going to just flop right out, almost like a dog's ears. So we're going to go just out just like this. See the little curve in them just like that? And let's do another one right over here. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead while we're right in there. We're right on the face area. Let's give him his two eyes. Let's give him really big, cute little eyes. Big and cute and little. Hmm. Big and little. They're kind of different, but let's give him big eyes. All right. He's going to make big circles this time. Big round circle. And then let's give him another big round circle right over here. There you go. And then we're going to give him some eyebrows. We're going to kind of make them pretty big, uh, kind of almost like a square. This one can be hidden a little bit underneath there. If you made the curls too big, you can hide them under there. Now his nose, we're going to do a little different. All we're going to do is put the two holes to his nose, but we're going to kind of make them like a raindrop. So we're going to make them one here and one here. And then we're going to give him a little bit of a different mouth. We're going to have it go up just like that. So it's going to be on the outside, almost like one wave in an ocean, just like that. Now you have got our little lamb's eyes and face. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do his eyes. I'm going to leave a little light spot in here where the light doesn't hit or where the light hits it and it reflects. All right. Color it all in nice. I'm going to do the same thing to this eye. There we go. And while I am right up here coloring in, I'm going to give my little lamb dark eyebrows. And I'm going to give him another little dark eyebrow. Maybe even the nose. Maybe I'll make his nose show up really well. So I'll color that in. And I'm going to do his ears in black too. It's little lambs, sometimes they're white, but then they have little black ears and little black feet, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and make our lambs ears. Since I'm up here, I'm gonna color it in. I don't usually color in while I'm doing it, but I don't know. Sometimes it's good to shake things up a little bit. Okay, coming around the corner here. He is so cute. Okay, another ear over here. There's not going to be a whole lot of coloring in this one because we're going to leave our lamb pretty much white. White, gray, and black. I had to put my glasses up on my head so I'd be able to see because sometimes when you look through different colored glasses, like these ones are very pink, it kind of messes with what my colors were going to be. So I thought, I'll put them on my head for right now. All right, now let's go ahead and make his body. Oh, he looks so cute right now. 
All right, we're gonna make his body big, just big and fluffy, just like a big sideways cloud. So let's give him a big, big cloud kind of body. A little smaller at the top where it meets his head, but he's got a big fluffy, almost like a piece of cotton. Doesn't he look like cotton to you? All right, um, I'm gonna put his arms on there. This one I'm gonna have be kind of in front of him. So I'm gonna make a little line here where a little puff, it's like a little puff, and then his arm will come out of there. And he has a little straight arm, and then we'll just put a circle on the end of it. And I'll color that in while I'm there. All right, looking nice. And then let's go this hand. He's gonna be holding that balloon I told you we're gonna be holding, okay? So we're gonna make a little line up. We're gonna do a little curved. We're gonna put a ball on the top of it, the black ball for his hand, and color it in. And then let's go down and let's finish up his little feet. Now he's gonna have little short legs, but they're gonna be kind of bigger at the top and go down smaller. So we're gonna go there and down, there and down. We're gonna give him another leg. So he's got two little legs. And then let's just do, instead of a ball, let's do kind of an egg shape for his feet and color them in. And then we'll do another one this way. I got them both kind of hanging out that way. So he's like facing in that direction. Oh, okay. All right, what do we need here? Now we gotta have a little bit of color in this. So I told you we're gonna add a balloon to this. Hopefully we can see it. Maybe I'll have to move it back a little bit. And let's put a big balloon right up here. Can't be too big because I've drawn so much. So we're going to do it in a heart shape. Just like that. Now we're going to have to have that little part, tiny bit on the bottom. If it's going to be a balloon, it's got to be where you tied the bottom of the balloon. And then let's give it a little string. We'll, I'll put a little bow on it. And then I'm going to put a little string right down here to his hand and maybe go right on past it. Now let's put that little light spot on there where it's going to stay white. Just like that. I'm gonna put a couple more hearts in here because it's Valentine's Day, so I figure we need lots of hearts today or this weekend, depending on when you do this. We're gonna give it a light spot there. I'm gonna put another one right here, just a smaller one. These really aren't balloons. These are just little, little hearts. And then right there. All right, that looks awesome. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, let's go ahead and do I hope I don't have to use that again. I'm gonna use gray. Now what I wanna use gray for is I wanna make his face a little different color than his fuzzy fur. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of gray in here. And I'm gonna color it in. And if you don't have gray, that's okay. You can leave it just the way it is. You do not have to color this part in. I just thought maybe it'd be kind of cute to make it a little different color. All right, there we go. Oops, I just broke my crayon. I am not doing good. I dropped my marker, broke my crayon. E gads. All right, and now I'm going to use red. Now I'm going to color in my hearts, but I'm going to leave the little, like, um, little moon shape. Remember, we're going to leave those just white. So I'm going to color it in. This is what makes it look more like a valentine. Now, if you wanted to write on here, would you be my valentine? U isn't spelled like we spell like you and me, like you, Y-O-U. We spell it E-W-E. -E. That's a U. That's a, that's a little lamb. So if you want to put words on it, you're welcome to put words. It says, will you be my valentine? A little play on words there. All right, we're coloring that in. This is the big one. This one's going to take a little more time than the others. Okay, did that little part there. I'm gonna go down and do this little one. Remember, there's not a lot of colors in this one. This one's just really three colors, black, gray, and red. Very simple. All right, oh, I, I like the way the hearts show up. I think they really look really cute with that little white spot in them. My favorite part of the Valentine's drawings are these little hearts. So I'll have to thank my daughter Taylor for coming up with this little U for me. Because I think it turned out pretty darn cute. She likes drawing too. Actually, all my children are pretty good at art. My son is more, he does better in the like computer, computer art. 
Um, he can do anything with a computer. He's amazing. And then my three daughters are always very, very good in art. All right, I'm coming down the home stretch here. I got my last little heart I'm doing. Now, I'm not going to color in the background for you. If you want to color in the background, please, you are more than welcome to. And I think that is looking pretty spectacular. Now, I'm going to look right over, over the top of the camera here. I'm going to see if I can find a little pink crayon. Well, it's not really pink, but it's red. But I'm going to press very lightly. I'm going to give them some cheeks. I grabbed the wrong color. Hold on. I should put all this stuff right here in front of me, but it gets in the way when I'm drawing. So I'm going to give him some little pink cheeks. Now this is up to you. I just think it makes him look a little bit brighter. Or her, whatever your little you is. There we go. Okay, boys and girls. We are done with our you, our happy Valentine's Day picture. So, it is day 135 when we come back. I'm going to get some more costumes back out because the last couple times I haven't really put too much of a co into costumes. So I'm going to come up with a couple more costumes just to make it a lot more fun, a lot more interesting, and we'll draw something very cool. So we'll see you next Friday. So do what I tell you every single time I see you. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents, listen to your teachers too, and I want you to stay creative. Very, very fun and gives you something to do when you stay creative. You don't have to just draw, get out, get out whatever you need to get creative with. And be kind. Kindness is one of the most important things in our world. So be kind to each other and I will see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Bye-bye.